Today, the church celebrates the feast of the guardian angels. Holy Mother Church teaches that the angels were God's first creation, spiritual beings immeasurably superior to man in natural gifts. The first chapter of the letter to the Hebrews tells us that Christ is superior to all the angels. They serve Him. The truth is they are all spirits whose work is service sent to help those who will be the heirs of salvation. Clearly then, though the notion of guardian angels which is deeply embedded in long-standing Catholic tradition is not an essential doctrine of the faith, its validity as a proximate teaching of faith based on scripture and the teaching of the fathers of the church cannot be denied. After all, did Jesus himself not say, See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you, they are angels in heaven, behold the face of my Father in heaven. The word angel is derived from the Greek word agelos, which in turn is a translation of the Hebrew word malak, which means messenger. In the light of this understanding, devotion to one's guardian angel is considered noteworthy, for the psalmist says, To his angels he has given charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. Upon their hands they shall bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. Saint Jerome avers that so sublime is the dignity of the soul, that from its birth there is appointed to each one a guardian spirit. The role of this guardian spirit, as is evident in Catholic theology, is to enlighten, protect, guide and pray for the person entrusted to his care. As a messenger of God's will, he enlightens by inspiring, thus disposing the mind to receive the truths of faith. As an instrument of God's goodness, he protects us from the dangers of all evil, mainly from the evil of sin and the malice of the devil, but also from physical evil in so far as this is useful or necessary to guard the soul from spiritual harm. He guides us in our choice of vocation, lifting and strengthening us at every fall, constantly pointing the way to attaining paradise. Finally, as a companion and protector throughout our earthly pilgrimage, our guardian angel carries our prayer to the throne of God, uniting it with his own during life and at the moment of death. A special feast honoring the guardian angels was first celebrated in southern Europe in the early 16th century. It was ascribed universal liturgical status in the year 1608. Finally, in 1670, Pope Clement X said 2nd October for this celebration.